Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. Some more Psalms. This time, Psalm 57. We're going to look at the title, because I got some out of the title. To the chief musician, set to do not destroy, a meek time of David when he fled from Saul into the cave. For those of y'all who are not familiar, there was a time when Saul, the first king of Israel, he had made David like um, a captain or a general, whatever a really high rank was within the army. He was doing really good. Um, Saul even ended up giving his daughter to David as a wife. But he saw David prosper more and more. He saw how strong he was. He saw how popular he was with the people, became very, very jealous, eventually started trying to kill him to the point where David had to flee. And there was a point in which he fled into a cave. Now, obviously, everything turned out all right in the end. Saul died in battle, and David became the king over Israel. In the middle of the hard times, David, he did a lot of fleeing. He did a lot of hiding for several years. That's a message in and of itself. But the part that I wanted to focus on today was the cave part. He fled from Saul into the cave, made this beautiful psalm, a psalm crying out to God for help. And I'd like to encourage you, sometimes, every now and then, the where, like the, I'm referring to the physical location where you are, you don't feel it's conducive to prayer. You don't feel it's conducive to seeking God. Like, I, I'm completely ignoring the fact that Saul was pursuing him, that his life was in danger. I'm actually ignoring that for the moment. But let's just say something even less than that. Let's just say, let's say you have a normal life. No one's pursuing you. But where you live at the moment, whatever your circumstances are, maybe you have some non-Christian parents, a non-Christian brother or sister, a non-Christian roommate, maybe even... um. You you got married before you got saved, and so you're married to someone who is not a Christian. And they're not too, too keen on this new religion you've picked up since you got married. And so the very place where you dwell isn't a place that you feel is conducive to worship, to prayer, to Bible study. I would just like to encourage you, even if you are in a literal cave, fleeing for your life. Not only is the, are the circumstances bad, but the location is also bad. Seek God anyway. Pursue Him anyway. Pray anyway. Read the Word of God anyway. Praise and worship anyway. Maybe you want to wait till the person is gone. Maybe you want to soundproof your room. Maybe you don't have those options. I would encourage you, get on their nerves and get on your knees before the Lord. If you, you know, if you don't want to get on your knees, you can stand, you can jump, you can swing from a chandelier if you have one in your house. You can do whatever you want. But where you are, praise Him. Where you are, pray to Him. Where you are, read His Word, meditate on His Word, day and night. Even if it drives the other person crazy, because God is a lot more important than that person. Or those persons, if there's more than one. He's a lot more important than your physical surroundings and environment. A, word, a, a, a scripture, a word of God, came from a cave. It was written in a cave. And now it's here for all the rest of the world to see and read what he wrote in a cave. And in my opinion, it's quite a good psalm. I like it quite a bit. So regardless of your physical environment, pray to him, praise him, worship him. Read his word, quote his word, meditate on his word, and do these things day and night. Even if you think it's not a good physical environment, you just don't like where you are, seek God anyway. Because if, if a piece of the Bible can come out of a place like that, then God can certainly minister to you in a place like that. And he may just minister to those people who are really, really opposed to him at the start of it. It could, be, it could be that you will just make them angrier and angrier, and they will eventually have to leave or you'll have to leave. That's possible. And if, and if that's what happens, so be it. They need to be in a different location or you need to be in a different location. But it could also be, and please, please have faith, that it could just be that you're rebelling against their anti-Christian, anti-God attitude is just what they need to see that Jesus Christ really is Lord. Lord of your life and Lord of all. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.